Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Hollow Tide here. And uh, while this isn't like super breaking news, it was posted over 19 days ago. I kind of wanted to see what the community's reaction was and if they were going to take it down. But the video is about a senior AI engineer for 343 Studios. It's a position that they're hiring. We're going to talk about, I guess, the overview and the responsibilities, some other things. Talk about how this person can be used. But before we get into that, I know everybody has opinions on AI, myself included. Just looking around what's happening on the internet, I'm terrified for the future because it doesn't seem like it's going to be a tool that people will use for good at this point. But of course, I would love to know your opinions down below. Be respectful. I don't think that this is an idea from 343. I definitely think this is Microsoft kind of, I mean, they love AI there. I definitely feel like they're pushing this and it's going to be common across all their studios. But also, if you love Halo content and you want to stay up to date, I could be your third favorite Halo YouTuber. I know 90% of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed. I would love to get that number down to like 80% so I, I don't have to say 90%. We're grinding away towards 15,000 subs and I would greatly appreciate it. All right, so we're going to go over the overview. 343 Industries is the developer of the blockbuster Halo series of video games. Very cool. It's also kind of funny, sad that uh, it says the Halo franchise has games, a television series, novels, comics. Ugh. So no more TV show. But it says they're looking for new voices to join our team to build the next generation of games and experiences. Are you interested in both celebrating and evolving Halo's legacy? The senior AI engineer would have a passion for identifying and capitalizing on opportunities afforded by recent industry advances in AI and machine learning. It then says you will help build innovative gaming experiences powered by AI, bringing the promise of new technologies to reality. Man, I, I'm not sure what that means. Innovative gaming experiences and AI. We'll touch on that again in the video, but let's keep going. Responsibilities. Design and implement scalable and efficient solutions that leverage generative AI and machine learning to augment in-game experiences and to improve how we make games. Integrating language models, building and fine-tuning specialized models, stay up to date with the latest advancements, document some stuff. So really, there's not a lot to go on. I'm not the type of person that believes that an AI at this point can write a better like Halo campaign story or create characters or anything like that. I will say that depending on what type of game they're making, I could see AI being used, and this is specifically for Halo, but like how do you incorporate AI with Forge or having like the world, the map built out in a faster way, you know, so it's like procedurally generated AI content for an open world Halo game or something like that. That kind of stuff, I feel like can help. It can be a tool as long as you have humans going through and, you know, really going through with like a, a fine tooth comb and creating a specialized area like with coding and stuff like that i've seen people that are like oh ai can code and everything and then i see people who work in like that industry and they're like this is awful this is I, you know and i just don't want to see like because the engine and stuff is so wonky already with blam i know the we're supposed to move to unreal engine but to just have like an AI write code and then a person have no idea how to fix it. I don't know. It's just very weird to me. It definitely seems like there's a disconnect right now between corporations and businesses and the consumer and everyday person. Now, I'm sure a lot of people will not care. I know a lot of people are pretty apathetic to this. Personally, I know people who have lost their jobs already to AI. So I'm definitely... I, I wouldn't say biased, but my opinion on it is that something needs to be done to regulate it. And then there are going to be people who are like, hey, if I get a better Halo game out of this, I don't care. Who cares? So there's a lot of different viewpoints, a lot of different opinions that are going that will be a part of this. And it's such a hot topic right now that I just don't know. I don't know if there's a right answer or a wrong answer, the right way to go about things. I think that it's just going to keep evolving at an exponential rate and where we are now it's going to be different in six months it's going to be different in a year personally i don't think like ai can replicate 
games and art in a way that a human can and how it can resonate with other human beings. Maybe, you know, in the future, I don't know. But as of right now, I just hope that this is more so a tool. I don't think that Microsoft or 343 are just going to be like, oh, people are upset about this. We're going to take it away. So yeah, that's that's the video. That's my thoughts and opinions on it. Again, I would love to know yours. I read all the comments down below. That's going to do it for the video. If you enjoyed or if you agree, I guess, because I don't know if you can really enjoy a video like this, leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, and I will catch you around the ring. Peace!